can you say something racist but not be racist yourself? As we mentioned with the, uh, the, the priest just before the news at nine o'clock, you can't see into someone's heart, whether that's to judge their degree of, of religious faith or the depths of hatred that their heart might sink to. You can't, you can't see it. You can feel it and experience it through what they do and what they say. So someone says something that, that sounds like they want to hate all black women based on a black woman that, woman that they see on the TV and said that that MP should be shot. Comments that are clearly rooted in racism are racist. Does it therefore not follow that the person who said them might also be racist themselves? Or do you withhold judgment based on something that they might not have said, that they've only said it a few times, or indeed, as you're about to hear the ministers suggest, because they've apologised. They've said something racist, that thing was racist, the person isn't racist because they say they're sorry. Does that, does that sound right to you? Earlier in the show, I was joined by the Minister for Postal Affairs, Kevin Hollerake. During our interview, we spoke at length about the way the government had handled the racism row. My first question was about whether the Conservative Party would be wise to take another 10 million quid in donations from Frank Hester. Well, I, I don't think, from what I understand, I've never met Mr Hester. He's apologised for what he said. Clearly to judge somebody's, uh, somebody's character by their skin colour is completely the wrong thing to do. That's why he's apologised. Um, so so I, I think, you know, w w people make mistakes you know, in life and he's apologised for them. Now, whether, whether the party wants to take an another donation from Mr Hester, clearly donations are important for all political parties. I, I think the, the, one of the things you would judge when anybody's making a donation is... Is this person, uh, is this person the right kind of person to be making a donation? I, is is somebody racist? And the answer is as far as, far as I well, as far as I know, Mr. Hester, I don't know him from what he said. He accepts his comments were wrong and they were racist, and he's apologised for them. So I don't think that means Mr. Hester is a racist, but that's a that's a judgment others will make so if somebody racist, wants to make a donation. He can say racist things, but he himself is not racist. Well, if you say racist things and don't apologise for them, that would make you a racist. But I think if you say something racist and then apologise, that's a different thing, I think. Why? Why would, on the evidence to, of our own eyes, I don't know him either, you don't know him, he said something racist here, but he, and which he has apologised for, but he is apparently not a racist person. Well, I, I, I know of people, I, you know, we all come across people in time, at times that say racist things, but are not racist. And I, and I think that's, um, you know, I, I say he said something that was wrong, he said something that was inappropriate, he said it in a completely different context, but I think the way he said that does, uh, does connect some somebody's skin colour with their character, which is the wrong thing to do, and that's why I was apologised. Why did it take Downing Street so long to call this what it is, which is racist? I have no idea about Downing Street's movements yesterday, Prime Minister's movements. I have no idea about that at all. But well, I, can, I can tell I think you that very... it took 24 hours for Downing Street to confirm that, yes, they'd thought that these were racist too, having, uh, having not said that they were for, for many, many hours. What does that say about the Prime Minister's judgment on these matters? Well, what you can't tell me is what the Prime Minister was doing yesterday. You know, I, I don't know his movements no more than you do, but Downing Street's been very clear. These comments were wrong, they were racist, and the apology has been made. But they haven't. They weren't clear for hours and hours out. I take the prime minister might not be engaged in being asked about every single question under the sun. That's why there's a whole operation around the prime minister to answer these questions for him. This is the second time in recent weeks that Downing Street have not apparently been able to say what everyone else can see with their own eyes, whether it's the Islamophobia and racism of Lee Anderson or indeed the racism here. Why is that? I say I don't know the Prime Minister's movement yesterday, neither do you. The Downing Street's been very clear that these comments were wrong and racist. I mean, one thing you should recognise is, is you know, we have the most diverse cabinet in history. We have a British Asian Prime Minister. We're very record, very proud of our record on diversity. That's what people, how people should judge us, not, not what the Prime Minister's movements were yesterday. It's not his movements. Minister, I'll say it again, it's not the Prime Minister's movements that matter here. It's what number 10, the official spokesman said repeatedly under questioning from journalists yesterday, which w wasn't using the word racism. That might speak to number 10's judgment of these matters. Do you think this man is the right character to have an OBE still? As I say, I, I, as far as I, I don't know Mr Hester, he's apologised for what he said, his comments were wrong, you know, that, that, those comments were racist in the context he said them, so he's apologised for them, that's, that's what we should judge people by, if you make a mistake, do you apologise for it, that's what, and that's clearly what he has done. Minister for Postal Affairs, 
Kevin Hollenrake. It is racist comment. He's apologised. He himself, the person who made those comments, we don't know whether he is racist or not, despite having made racist comments, which he has now apologised for. As Campbell says here, is this a white middle-aged Tory man telling us what is and what is not racism? Well, yeah, I mean, he said it's racism. He's just not sure about whether or not to follow through on whether the guy who uttered the racist comments is racist. Walk me through that one. Nigel's in Birmingham. Morning, Nigel. Yeah, more time. They're asking some good questions, so I'm up to the best. challenge. Um, right, um, my point, my central point is, if somebody's racist, they can make a racist comment. But it doesn't follow the other way around. Somebody making a racist comment isn't necessarily a racist. And my concern is just, when you say somebody's racist, you're talking about their nature. Mm-hmm. If they make a racist comment, then if you say the comment is racist, you're focusing on the comments that they've said. And what keeps happening is we're deflecting from the comment and is the comment racist okay. to conflating the two. I, I, and then people I, I don't want to be accused of racism. I so. take your point. How often, Nigel, do you say that you, because you see a black one particular black woman on the TV, that you want to hate all black women as a result? Do you, do you say those things often? Um, well, I'll, I'll reverse it because I'm actually black. So let's say you say about white women. Um, no, I've never ever thought that. Right. And I would never say that. What do you think of people who do think that and do say it? Um, <laughs> good question. Um, I think what's... Um, I would listen carefully to what they say. Well, and I'll tell you what they say. Of they what say they I saw say Diane Abbott on the it's... television and it's enough to make you want to hate all black well, we women. Well, you see, that, that comment... That comment was said behind closed doors in private. I would suggest that sh- that's what's in the person coming out. But again, he's, he said it out loud to people, whether yeah. it was one person or, or 20, and yeah. whether the door but was open it, or closed. It, 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 yeah. it was a thought that entered his brain and exited his mouth. Is that something yeah. you would say about well, white people? I, I, personally, people? I personally wouldn't say it. But Why again, not? I would Why come, wouldn't you, I would, Nigel? Why would, we're well, so close, we're circling the point. Be, Why wouldn't you say it? Well, I wouldn't say it because it's wrong. Yes. And I wouldn't say it because I, I would say it's a racist comment. Yes. But you see, what I don't get understand is why we need to keep deflecting on whether the comment is racist and say the person is racist because what happens then is you take away from the nature of the comment. Um, but yeah, and that's, that's the way I see it because what, hap- what keeps on happening, it's not just in this area, you see it in lots of areas, when something happens, instead of focusing on the individual action, it's like we try and label the person, then the, and then the argument becomes about the person, not what they've done. I know, but they've done it. The, the, it. It stems from the person, doesn't it? The comment just didn't sort of plop out of the ether. It came from the mind of a man who was standing in a room full of people who made those comments, and I think it would be... It's pretty tricky not to judge someone for making the kind of comments, Nigel, that you say you wouldn't make because they are, as you rightly point out, racist. What does that make the person who uttered them? Ignorant? Dumb? Um, What are we saying about them? Can you say something that is clearly and objectively racist but not be racist yourself?